Judge Not a Man Narrated by Mount Carroll Judge not a man by the cost of his clothing, unheeding the life path that he may pursue, or off you'll admire a heart that needs loathing, and fail to give honour where honour is due. The palm may be hard, the finger stiff-jointed, the coat may be tattered, the cheek warm with tears, but greater than kings are labours anointed, you can't judge a man by the coat that he wears. Give me the man as a friend and a neighbour, who toils at the loom with the spade or the plough, who wins his diploma of manhood by labour, and purchases wealth by the sweat of his brow. Why should the broadcloth alone be respected, the man be despised to whom fustian appears, the angels in heaven of their limbs unprotected, then why judge a man by the coat that he wears? Judge a man by the work he is doing, speak of a man as his actions demand, watch well the life that each is pursuing, and let the most worthy be chief of the land. That man shall be found midst the close ranks of labour, be known by the work that his industry rears, his chiefdom when worn shall be dear to his neighbour, we'll honour the man whatever he wears. John Bedford Lino, 1826-1894, one of the last Chartist leaders in London, and co-founder, along with Ernest Jones and others, of the Reform League, which took up the cudgels for adult suffrage following the demise of the National Charter Association.